Simple Tech says, thanks for the continued live streams. They're always fun and informative. Can you, play, can you please tell me how using a virtual machine, in my case on a Mac, improves privacy? If predominantly I use my real name when logging into services inside the VM and I periodically delete and replace, does that give a different fingerprint for those services and companies that are tracking me? You, so first you ask how it can improve privacy. I would say it improves privacy if you use it in a way that improves your privacy, which I know sounds really obvious, uh, but if you just, let's say you're using Brave on your MacBook and you install a Mac virtual machine and install Brave, and you use those two browsers for the same thing, and it's the same configuration, the VM's not really doing much for your privacy. With the exception of, you know, let's say you get malware in your VM, then and it doesn't leak into your host VM, which is very unlikely, then yeah, you prevented malware from getting your data. But that's a very weird edge case. By default, it's not really changing your privacy. I personally see VMs more as security tools. Um, it's really nice to be able to open things in a VM and not worry about it infecting my host but you can still use it in a privacy way, but it's kind of like a hammer. Like, will a hammer make my life easier? It depends. It depends like what you need to use it for and what you're going to use it for. And I think that's where virtual machines come in and as well as most other privacy tools. So in your example, if your host operating system isn't used for any personal use, but then your VM is reserved for personal use, then your VM is functioning uh, to do something for your privacy, which is compartmentalizing your personal usage from whatever your other computer usage is. But if you're just setting up a VM and just kind of hoping it does something for you because we commonly tout about how you can use VMs for privacy and security, um, then it's not going to really do anything for you by default, I would say. What it does is it enables you to have things like a different VPN for a different use case or different browsers. Like you can install the same software twice on the same computer with a VM involved. You can use different operating systems. You might need software on a different operating system that gives you a different benefit in a different area of your life. So it's on a case-by-case -case basis of whether or not a VM is actually going to help you in a privacy and security journey. But they are fantastic tools. If you have a use case for them, um, I highly recommend it. So, hey everybody, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This is actually a highlight from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how you can have a better relationship with technology. So if you want the full length experience, definitely check out our main channel, TechLore. We'll leave a link somewhere on the screen, wherever our editor puts it, and you can probably check it down in the description as well.